So Deadpool and Wolverine is finally out for everyone to see. First of all, should you go watch this movie 100%? It's, you know, what, like everyone's saying, a celebration of the Fox universe, you know, the past like 20 odd years of history kind of in this movie and celebrated. It just brings everyone together in a way that makes you appreciate those old movies uh, even more. So this is going to be a spoiler free review, but I do want to make a just full, you know, longer form video where I just discuss, you know, all the spoilers in the world, everything that happened in this movie, because it's there's a lot to talk about. So Deadpool has a pretty big character journey uh, through this movie, as well as, you know, Wolverine. I would say Wolverine is felt way more. Uh, despite this being a Deadpool movie, it's like, I don't know, the Deadpool elements were only there, you know, they were definitely there, but they weren't as strong as it could have been. I'll get into this in, um, in you know, a spoilers video, but it wasn't as well written as it could have been. Wolverine's, I, I feel at least, was, you know, a lot more well written. But I mean, are we here for, for Wade's, you know, character journey? Maybe slightly, but I mean, you know, what we're all here for to see Deadpool and Wolverine team up. So in that sense, was it a good movie? Was it a good Deadpool and Wolverine team up? Was it what we've been waiting for since Wolverine Origins, uh, X-Men Wolverine Origins, whatever? Or probably before that, that. Yeah, it was super cool seeing them both on screen, seeing them, you know, bicker amongst each other. Because, um, you know, Wade just can't stop talking, but Wolverine is like, yo, bro, just shut up, you know, just, just keep, shut your mouth. Uh, and that's everyone's problem with Wade, but uh, yeah, something that I just thought was a bit cringy. And this is like a nothing burger, but I'm going to point it out anyway, because yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen anyone point it out, although I haven't seen a lot of a lot of videos. Yeah, I haven't seen obviously everyone's opinion, trailers and the movie and the marketing. Actually, I'm going to correct myself. I've seen Chris uh, from C3 Films. He mentioned something similar where they use a lot of modern lingo, like um, beef. Well, like we got beef we you want to smoke <laughs> shit like that um and another example is and this is very like open in the trailers wolverine says let's fucking go and there's a point in the movie where like multiple characters say it and it just it it lands like somewhat but it doesn't it, it doesn't land as much as i think they wanted it to um I, I don't know i don't know it's just i just felt i just thought that was a bit cringy like, even when Wolverine said that in the trailer, let's fucking go, there was like the LFG uh, abbreviation at the end of it. I was like, that's kind of like, what? Like, what do you, what do you mean is that? <laughs> like, oh, what the hell is even that? But that's like, again, it's nothing. It's nothing. The movie was good. Um, Wolverine gets to, you know, Hugh Jackman really, you know, just gets to shine as the Wolverine in the suit, playing the character again. Uh, it's super comic book accurate, just like the way, you know, he moves in, in fight scenes. It's cool to see, you know, it's cool to see them, the Wolverine move like that, you know, especially with the, with the suit on. I also want to say this, the cameos are plentiful in this movie. Get ready to be shocked, get ready to literally be like, yo, at least you're going to have like a smile on your face uh, for one scene in this movie, uh, one cameo at least. And it's going to be better than the John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic. At least for me, anyway. At least for me. I think for a lot of other people as well. I mean, that was cool, but what, I mean, the cameos in this movie are, are like, what the, hell? I didn't expect that at all. So people have been speaking about the color grading. Sean Levy, the, the director of this movie, chose a kind of dull uh, kind of color grading. And I will say it's only at like specific parts of the movie. It's not the whole movie that, that looks that dull and grey. Some parts definitely do, like in the void. I will say, see is what you get, <laughs> for sure, with the void scenes. But there are a lot of scenes in this movie that, you know, do have a lot of colour uh, to, to them. Uh, they have a lot of character. It just feels more lively in the colour department, in the contrast department. So don't worry about that. It's really just the void scenes, which I guess a lot of the movie does take, take place in the void. Um, but it's not too bad. Speaking of the void, Cassandra Nova, she was super menacing, like to witness on screen. I was like, yo, like her powers are like unpredictable as hell. What's gonna happen? Like, there's a scene in the trailer where she like pulls Wolverine straight into the ground just by like moving her two hands down. Super good villain. Instantly leaves a mark on you as as you're watching. 
Cassandra Nova is of course, I say is of course as if I knew before the movie, but I only know this because of the movie and obviously people, you know, talking about it. She's of course um, Professor X's sister, twin sister. Okay, in the trailer we see obviously X-23, which was recently revealed. Super cool, super cool to, uh, to see her come back. We see Toad, I think he was a villain in X-Men 2. I'm also not too sure who was in the trailer and who wasn't in the trailer, so in case you are watching this and you haven't seen the movie, I don't want to spoil it for you. So, plentiful uh, cameos, plentiful easter eggs as well, like pl plentiful references to just other like Marvel properties. I will say Paradox was a bit disappointing. I expected a bit more from his character. Um, his motivation is kind of lackluster. Um, I'm not really spoiling anything for you. But uh, yeah, with that, just like watch the movie with that in mind. And then, you know, tell me if you know what I mean. Yeah, with that, this was a super enjoyable movie to watch. I had a smile on my face so much of the time watching this movie. Yeah, super cool, super enjoyable. Go watch the movie. It really is a celebration of the last like 20, 25 years of X-Men movies and, and just Fox Marvel movies in general, but then also, you know, some MCU movies, um, but really just the Fox movies. Crazy, crazy. What's up? Whoa, bro, what's up? This is the multiverse saga. Unfortunately, it's probably the end of it. Uh, maybe Secret Wars is like the end of it. To be honest, I don't fucking know uh, these sagas anymore, what's happening. But what I do know is Deadpool and Wolverine, good movie. Uh, if you if you made it this far, I appreciate your time. It's like 98 point something percent, maybe more, of people that's not subscribed to the channel. So, yeah, if you want to make that number smaller, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, maybe turning on the notification bell um, could be annoying, but, you know, it's useful. <laughs> it's useful and it's like you've got a new video up. Spoiler review coming very, very soon. Very, very soon. I uh, wouldn't mind. I didn't want to, you know, just talk about and geek out about uh, the shit in this movie. But yeah, again, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your day.